You it is get your it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be talking about the season of seven all-time spotlight rewards. I'm gonna be going over five guys who I think could be the final ultimate reward in NBA 2K23 loyalty. Now, before we dive any further into that, guys, if you are new to the channel, man, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We're on the road towards 120,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys and all of the support you guys have given me. Now, the first thing I will say is I do believe that Ultimate Spotlight Reward is going to make this worth it for the average person playing my team. That doesn't mean it's going to be worth it for every single person, right? If you have, let's say, all of the money in the world, let's say you are LeBron James. Is this worth the grind? Well, probably not because by the time June 30th comes, who knows? End games might be out. They might be out by the time you guys see this video if they do get leaked because we had them at this time last year. But stuff like that. And so if you can have every card in my team at every single time, then who knows if this is ultimately going to be worth it. But for the average person, I believe it's going to be worth it. Let's be talking. Let's start with this guy as the first option. And that man is Luka Doncic, okay? Why do I think it's possible that we will or we could see a Luka Doncic? Well, let's talk about it. The last Luka Doncic card we had was this interdimensional one. They came out on April 28th, okay? This card is one of the best primary ball handlers in the entire game, especially if you like three hunting, and especially if you do want to run your offense through the point guard. Now, he's not an invincible, though, okay? This card only has four base defensive Hall of Famers, and, I mean, he can get a lot better. Let's let's be honest with ourselves. He can be a lot better. And the invincible Luka would be that better option. Now, Again, why do I think it's possible? Well, we saw a lot of good Luka Doncic's last year. Now, obviously, Luka was kind of the main card that, that broke the game in general, right? And, and so we did see a lot of Lukas. But I'm just saying, like, throughout the time, we saw an invincible Luka on June 3rd of last year. So I just, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibilities for 2K to give us a free Luka Doncic. And I really would not be totally stunned at that. The next card that I do want to go over and talk about is Terry Dishinger and how I believe we could see an Invincible Terry as our overall reward. Throughout the years, 2K has loved to give us lock-in Terry's where he's not in packs and just not really in anything else outside of being free or grindable or a lock-in, right? He's not just put in a packs really. We saw him in the gauntlet in 2K21 as well as being in the Unlimited Bowl earlier in the year. This year, we saw the lock-in Terry, but that was basically it. Obviously, and we saw him in the Flash Forward set, but most of the time we see Terry, it's in either a lock-in or a grindable set. That's why an Invincible Terry wouldn't totally surprise me, because this Terry that came out on March 28th still is a top three or four shooting guard in the entire game. And imagine if we saw an Invincible Terry that everybody could get. Everybody would love that card. And I feel like even if people were way behind, people would go and grind for that card and be super, super excited about it. I think 2K is going to want to drop a card that not only is good, but that people are really excited about and will go and grind for. And I think Terry checks off both of those categories. He would be, even if he's a small forward shooting guard, and I know people are going to be like, Ty, the game is ran by height. I know, but he's probably the best primary opponent in the game. Even if he is a small forward shooting guard, he's still going to be that, and he is going to be absolutely nearly impossible to defend. I think Invincible Terry is a real possibility for us to see. The next guy I want to talk about as a possibility, a card that we have not seen an Invincible of, is the hero Ben Simmons. Now for Ben Simmons, it's a little bit different because obviously the dark matter hero Ben Simmons is really good. People will still talk about this card. I still think he's the top two point guard in the game. The crazy part is he came out a month and a half ago and by the time this person on June 30th is, is available, it's gonna be nearly two months later, which is crazy, right? Invincible Ben Simmons, if he, especially even if he keeps the same release, would run my team because this card basically does in general. The big difference here would probably be badges, right? He'd get blinders, rise up, slivery off a bailout, mismatch. Like he'd get all those badges that this hero one doesn't have and he's free, right? In a game in which height runs the game, giving the average person 
a point guard that is tall, lengthy, and can compete at every single level in my team. I personally think it is super important and super invaluable. So that's kind of why I'm on the Ben Simmons Invincible hype train. I, I don't necessarily think it's going to be Ben Simmons. I'm just saying if they want to give everybody a guy that is going to be useful, which I absolutely believe in, I think Invincible Ben Simmons really does have a shot. The next guy I'm going to talk about here is another guy we have not seen in a very long time, and that is Bill Russell. Now, when I say we haven't seen him in a very long time, it's not that long, but March 17th, like it's three months ago we saw this Bill Russell. Now, I don't necessarily love the Eric Pascal base, so I mean, that's why I don't necessarily talk about Bill Russell that much, but he is dirt cheap. Like Bill Russell is so, so, so cheap in my team. And even like this one right here for 47,000 MT, he's got 33 Hall of Famers. So, I mean, you could probably find one that is really solid. But Bill Russell at 6'10 has all the potential if he gets an Invincible to be that man in my team. Right now, this Bill Russell has a base on quick. If he gets his base on very quick with a, a few better dribble sigs, a few, a few better animations, people are going to be hype about Bill Russell. What was it? Was it in 21 we got a grindable Bill Russell card? I do believe, yeah. We saw an Invincible Bill Russell that everybody could grind for. That was on May 19th. I would not be surprised to see 2K do that again with Bill Russell because, again, he's going to make a lot of people's lineups. And if we get an invincible Bill Russell that can play small forward and power forward, people are, are, aren't are probably going to complain about it because they've got to realize he's going to defend incredibly, knock down shots, and especially if he has those improved dribble sigs, going to be able to play at the highest level. The last guy I'm going to talk about today the guy that I'm predicting it's going to be, and I know people are like, they're not going to give us another taco. That's who I'm predicting. Why? Because that's who we got as the ultimate reward in the gauntlet spotlight sims in 2K21. Not only that, he came out on June 30th of 2K21. It, the stars are aligned, guys. You guys don't have to believe me, but the stars are lined up that we are going to see Taco again on June 30th. The stars are lined. I don't make the rules. 2K loves to do this year in, year out. They'll do this kind of copy paste thing where they drop the same type of players in the same type of years. You don't believe me? Let's talk about it, okay? I'll talk about some of the same cards we got last year at the same time. Oh, you want that Invincible Giannis from this year? Well, last year, Invincible Giannis came out on May 20th. This year, nearly the same exact time. You want to talk about Invincible Steph Curry? Nearly the same time. Invincible T-Mac? Nearly the same time. Invincible Braun? Nearly the same time. It's no coincidence. I'm telling you guys, it's what 2K likes to do. Invincible Kareem and MJ came out last year on June 3rd. Okay, June 3rd, Kareem, MJ last year. What about this year? Well, uh, Kareem and MJ came out on June 9th. I'm just telling you, it's a copy and paste type of thing that 2K does. And on June 30th of 2K21, they gave us Taco Falls Invincible. I don't make the rules. You want to go to last year when we talk about Taco, he came out on July 12th. Kind of fit in that same type of timeline. I'm not telling you guys for sure that, that we're getting Taco, but if you guys had to get my exact prediction and I only got to choose one card, I would say it's Invincible Taco Fall that is going to be our reward. That's going to wrap it up, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.